first heard uh, from John Landis that some Italian guy was going to remake King Kong. <laughs> and I just shook my head and I said, they're going to get some idiot and put him in an age suit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was right. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, to me it was sacrilege. I mean, the original King Kong is a great film. And it, groundbreaking effects, beautiful, you know, beautifully done. Um, but then somehow they found out that I made eight students and I got a call to come in and talk to them. And so I went in the, uh, with a little sculpture I did of a, of a gorilla from the LA Zoo that I did at the zoo. And uh, these mechanical arm extensions that my friend John Bird made and John came with me and had an eight head. And, and they kind of said, you know, we really don't, our, our, we're not gonna make that King Kong. You know, we're, we're making a new version, it's a disaster movie, it was in the age of disaster movies. So, you know, it's John Gilliman as the director. Um, and their original thinking was Kong was gonna be more of an ape man. And they had these drawings that Mentor Huebner did of these primitive man, some even kind of Neanderthal-like. And I was going, what the hell's wrong with you, man? You're like 25 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you guys? You can't make Kong an ape man. If anything, it should be a gorilla on steroids. It shouldn't be, you know, more the man's kind of thing. They said, well, this is what we're going to do, you know. Anyways, it, it came down to, uh, I said, well, I'd be willing to work on this, you know, but I've got another job offer, and uh, I really need to know because I kind of said I would do this in a film, but I, you know, I, you know Kong, like you said, it was a big movie. I basically done low budget independent films that were shot in a few days, you know, with the exception of working on The Exorcist with Dick Smith, you know. Um, and they said, well, well, we'll, we'll get back to you. you know? Well, they didn't get back to me, so I took the other film. Mm -hmm. Then they got back to me. And I said, you know, I'm doing this other film, film called Squirm, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that. <laughs> and I said, well, what I can probably do is get the, uh, make the effects, teach somebody to put them on, and then I can come on to call. So I did that. When I came on to Kong, they said, well, it, you know, since you weren't around, we've actually, Dino brought his friend from Italy, Carlo Rombaldi, and we're not thinking we might not even need a whole age suit because Carlo says he can build a 40 foot robot. I can do a whole movie. <laughs> and I said, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Again, 25 years old. Uh, there's no way he's going to build a 40 foot robot that's going to be able to do what a guy in a suit can do. And uh, they said, well, yeah, we, we still want to do a suit as a backup thing, you know, and, and what we want to do, uh, and, but we want you to work with Carlo. And I said, I, I don't know who this guy is. Does he speak English? No. You know, I don't speak Italian. You know, how's this going to work? You know, we have very different ways of doing things, you know. And they said, well, what we want you to do is do a test suit. You guys are both going to do test suits, and you're going to have like six weeks to build a suit. And then we're going to meet back, and we're going to look and compare notes. So I said, okay. So I, went to my garage and, and had one assistant and on the weekends I had Rob Routine who was my child protege and would come and work for free on it and, and I built this, I, you know, they gave me the drawings of these eight men which I threw away <laughs> and I said, I'll show them that I know more about what King Kong should be than what they do, you know, 25 year old smart kid, you know, so, uh, so I built this gorilla suit uh, in six weeks. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad, you know? and, and it had some things that this Kong didn't have, which, you know, I had the self-contained head uh, where I could operate the face myself with my own jaw movements and stuff. So anyways, I mean, I show up on the day that we're supposed to meet to compare suits, and they, when they saw my suit, they were like pissed off, you know? <laughs> this doesn't look anything like what we asked you to build. You know? It's like, yeah, I know it's better. You know? <laughs> this, is, this is what King Kong should be, you know. And they, and, and they said, well, but this isn't what we asked you to do. They were really mad, you know. And they go, well, Carlos probably was, looks more like what you wanted it to be. And they said, well, he hasn't he hasn't built his. He didn't have time to finish it. You know? and, well, I didn't have time to finish mine either, but I got it done. You know? <laughs> and they go, well, he's working on the big robot, which is really going to be the whole movie, you know. So they said, you know, they regrettably like did some tests with my suit because that's the only thing they had. And because I built the suit to fit myself, you know, they
they got used to the performance that it was doing. Also during the time when I was doing Squirm, they hired two actors uh, to play Kong. After they did the horrible thing, which was first they put a, a, an ad in trays looking for a, a black person to play a gorilla in this movie, and it caused a big outrage. <laughs> uh, but they hired this guy named Albert Popwell, uh, and a guy named Hampton Fancher to, to play King Kong. And during the time I was building my test suit, they uh, were going to San Diego Zoo and studying gorillas, and Hampton was actually quite good, I thought. Uh, Carlo eventually got his suit done, which he built for um, uh, Albert Popwell. And they called me and said, Carlo's suit's finally done. You know, come, we're gonna come look at it. And it was basically a disaster. And, you know, Gillerman said, you know, Rick, Rick was right. His suit is much more what Kong should be. You know, so, so Rick put your suit on. I, went, I left my suit at home. They got, they got a driver, took me home to North Hollywood, back out to Angie now, put the suit on, and Angie and John was going, yes, this is much better, this is much more what it should be, and I want Rick to play Kong, because they got used to me hopping around in the suit. You know, so that, that was a really long answer.